I'd like to call this <coughs> your Newark City Council order. Hon, please call the roll. Mr. Blake. Here. Mr. Bubb. Mr. Cost. Here. Mr. Pinnell. Here. Mr. Frazier. Here. Ms. Hall. Here. Mr. Labutis. Here. Mr. Lang. Here. Mr. Marmy. Present. And Mr. Rapp. Here. We have nine here who are present this evening. Next on the agenda is the invocation by Mr. Labutis, followed by the Pledge of Allegiance. Please stand. Our heads. Heavenly Father, we come to prayer this evening. We thank you for this time that we come together. I just ask you to be with us uh, this evening in our discussions, helping to uh, be fruitful and beneficial. Uh, be with each of us as, as counsel, and uh, as we discuss this evening, help us to have wisdom uh, in our discussions, and be with our mayor and our administration, as well as our country. These things I ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Please join me in the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Mr. Mavis. <clears throat> Next on the agenda, we have caucus. That's the time for council to discuss anything pertaining to the agenda tonight. Do we have anything? Mr. President, Mr. Marmy. I make a motion to excuse uh, council member Bob. Motion by Mr. Marmy. Second. Second by Mr. Frazier. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. That passes. Thank you. We'll be excused. <clears throat> Next, we have our minutes of our January 2nd, uh, 2018 meeting. Is there a motion to approve those? So moved. Motion by Mr. Koss. Second. Second. Second by Mr. Lang. All in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed, same sign. That passes. Thank you. Next, we have reports from city officials. We have one this evening from our auditor, Stephen Johnson, the operating report for the period ending December 31st, 2017. Thank you, Mr. Johnson. Certainly. <laughs> Next under communications, we have one communication from the Ohio Division of Liquor Control, a new liquor license application by the hub at 370 West Church Street. Uh, council, does, of course, does not vote on that. The procedure on that is we have 30 days to object. I believe it is the police chief or the safety director that has to object to that license if there is an objection, so they will be working on that. President, Mr. Cox. My understanding there is an objection to it. Um, perhaps uh, safety director Bowman would want to speak to you. Speak up, please. I'm sorry. Can you speak up, please? Sure. Certainly. Uh, good evening. I received a, an email from law director Sasson after I stop checking my email for the day and while I gave everybody bad information apparently on the email today I'll have to address it with the law director's office at a later time to, to see what we can do about this liquor permit premises I still don't like the fact that the, of its location and neither does the school board superintendent but we may not have a choice in the matter after reading my email so thank you thank you Without objection, that communication will be received and filed. Next on the agenda, we have comments from citizens. There are two sections for comments from citizens. One is now and one is after the legislation. This is not a debate with council. This is just your opportunity to be heard. Do we have anyone for this first section? If you just please raise your hand. Yes, sir. Yes. Come on up. Can you just give us your name and address for the record, please? Home address or home address? Okay. I'm uh, Richard Kennedy. My home address is 9327 Martinsburg Road, and that's St. Louisville, Ohio. And uh, this is in regards to a billboard that we want to build within the city limits. Um, I guess I'm here just here to uh, state why I think it should be allowed to go in. Um, first of all, I guess uh, this would be one of the last well, first of all, we want to place a billboard on the north side of Newark on Route 13, Mount Vernon Road, uh, where Shackleford's disposal is currently right now. Uh, it would be just south of the city limit line. Um, so I guess I'll state why I think we should, or I think you guys should allow it to go in. Um, first of all, Newark has an overlay map which states where you can and can't build billboards. In this particular instance, uh, we're within the boundaries of where we can build billboards. However, we are we want to place a billboard on the opposite side of the road. Um, the property we want to build on was not annexed into the city 
at the time that Newark created that billboard overlay map. So we are within that allowable building area. Um, however, we're on the opposite side of the road. Um, as far as the billboard itself goes, um, due to Newark's already kind of strenuous zoning regulation, regulations in regards to signs, um, this would be one of the last billboards that you could even place on this stretch of road. So it wouldn't be opening up a whole other can of worms to jam in another hundred billboards there. Uh, this would be one of the last boards on that stretch of highway. Um, our billboards are always kept up and maintained, painted, etc. Uh, the structure is all steel. It's not wooden. It's not an eyesore. Um, let's see here. Uh, the billboard will be placed in a manner on the property that would allow for future development. We've already spoken with the property owner. He is okay with that. Um, and also with Newark's regulations, the board cannot be that big anyway. We still have to fall into all the regulations that Newark has in regards to their uh, zoning regulations in regards to billboards. So we couldn't, it's not going to be a, a monster billboard, just uh, an average size board, if, if you will. Um, we're a small company. I'm a one man army, so I take pride in every billboard location. Uh, this is what I do for a living. Uh, I also believe the billboards stimulate the economy. They bring business to town. This is the first billboard you're, you will see as you come into the city of Newark. Um, they obviously increase tax revenue, which obviously helps the city of Newark. Uh, I live here locally, so any problems with the billboard could be addressed immediately. I probably drive by it every day. Um, property is already being used for commercial activity, so it's not on anything residential. Uh, let's see here. Let me discuss that. Um, it's like if it if it gets down to all you guys, I'm not sure of the fiery hoops that I have to jump through to do this. But uh, um, just ask that you guys give it give it some thought. You know, I'm a young entrepreneur, one man army. That's what I do for a living. I just want to jam another billboard in the ground, and uh, I guess I don't see why anybody would would be opposed to it. Um, and actually. Um, I don't know if this would be any interest to you guys, but I'd even be willing to run something on the billboard free of charge for a short period of time that could potentially benefit the city of Newark. If there's any, I guess I can't think of anything off the top of my head that you guys could potentially use it for, but I'd be willing to do that free of charge for a period of time. So, but anyway, uh, name of my company is Kennedy Outdoor Advertising. I can give you guys some business cards if you like. You can look me up online or if you need anything, you can call me. So, but thanks for letting me speak. Thank you. The uh, next council meeting, February 5th, will be the uh, public hearing on this, and then we'll read it for the second time and vote. The Planning Commission has denied this one and denied the one on Thornwood. I will have Autumn send you uh, Brian Moorhead's letter tomorrow, everyone, so you can take a look at it. So it would take seven votes to pass it. Uh, just out of curiosity, is this a regular billboard or a digital? Not that it makes any difference. It's a regular static billboard. Okay. I forgot to mention that. Yeah, it's just a plain old, plain Jane billboard. Okay. Thank you. Anyone else for this section of citizens' comments? <clears throat> Seeing none, we have uh, three resolutions to on the first reading. First, 1801. Resolution 1801 by Mr. Marmy, Mr. Cost, Mr. Rath, Mr. Frazier, a resolution authorizing and directing the mayor of the city of North to prepare and submit applications to the Department of Homeland Security for fiscal year 2017 Fire Act grant programs in support of training programs, equipment purchases, funding for personnel, fire prevention, and fire safety programs throughout the city. 1801 will be held till our next meeting February 5th. Next we have 1802. Resolution 1802 by Mr. Marmy, Mr. Cost, and Mr. Rath, a resolution appropriating monies for the current expenses of the municipal corporation. 1802. Mr. President, Mr. Marmy. I make a motion to waive the two-day reading rule on Resolution 1802. Motion to waive the two-day reading rule by Mr. Second. Marmy. Second by Mr. Frazier. Mr. Marmy. Yes. Uh, this is actually uh, some grant money that came in for overtime. We need to get it in the right account to make sure that that is paid for. Thank you, Mr. Marmee. Autumn, please call the roll to waive the two-day reading rule. Mr. Blake? Yes. Mr. Bubb? Mr. Cost? Mr. Cost? Oh, yes. Yes, okay. Mr. Fennell? Yes. 
Mr. Frazier? Yes. Ms. Hall? Yes. Mr. Labutis? Yes. Mr. Lang? Yes. Mr. Marmy? Yes. And Mr. Rapp? Yes. Two day reading rule has been waived, Mr. Marmy. Thank you, Mr. President. Make a motion to adopt resolution 18 02. Second. Motion by Mr. Marmy, second by Mr. Frazier. Is there any discussion on 18 02? Seeing none, I'll please call the roll vote. Mr. Blake? Yes. Mr. Bubb? Mr. Cost? Yes. Mr. Fennell? Yes. Mr. Frazier? Yes. Ms. Hall? Yes. Mr. Labutis? Yes. Mr. Lang? Yes. Mr. Marmy? Yes. And Mr. Rapp? Yes. 1802 passes 9-0. And finally, on the first reading, we have 18-03. Resolution 18-03 by Mr. Marmy, Mr. Cost, Mr. Rapp, and Mr. Frazier. A resolution appropriating monies for the current expenses of the municipal corporation. 1803 will be held to our next meeting on February 5th. And that concludes our legislation this evening. Next on the agenda, we have our second opportunity for comments from citizens. Do we have anyone else? Ma'am? <coughs> Same rules apply. This is not a debate with counsel. Your opportunity to be heard. Just give us your name and address for the record, please. My name is Laura Canby. I live at 1120 Wintermead Avenue. And I'm still looking for answers about the gazebo, who it was that privately funded for it to be moved. And we still haven't had an answer. It's been how many months, and we haven't got a truthful answer yet. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Anyone else? Okay. <coughs> Anyone from the city tonight? Our award-winning auditor, Mr. Johnson. I don't want to throw up the momentum tonight, so I'll pass. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Johnson. <laughs> Honorable Law Director Sasson. Thank you, Mr. President. I'll pass. Thank you. Mayor Hall. I will pass. Thank you. Wow. I guess I better get with you here. Mr. Blake. Rules Committee, and I'll pass. Thank you, Mr. Blake. Mr. Cost. I will pass. Uh, Mr. Fennell. Uh, just really quickly, the Historic Hudson Community Association uh, rescheduled there. Oh, did I steal your thunder? You stole oh, my sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they rescheduled their uh, annual chicken dinner fundraiser, uh, and it will be held uh, this weekend. It was due to weather, so it will be held this weekend. Um, if you have tickets, um, go ahead and use them at 4.30 uh, at the Central Christian Church, uh, or you can still have time to buy tickets as well. So at Saturday at 4.30? At Saturday at 4.30. But that'll pass. Sorry, Thank you. Mr. Frazier, you just want to pass then? Eight dollars for adults. There you go. Miss <laughs> 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 Hall. Thank you, Mark Harris. Mr. Lavutis. Thank you, Mark Harris. Mr. Lang. I need to call a capital improvements committee meeting, and I'd like to thank Director Rhodes and the rest of the service department. I know they were working really hard this weekend. Had had more than a few calls um, from citizens to uh, get roads plowed, and they did a great job. So I really wanted to commend them for that. And I'll pass. Thank you, Mr. Lyon. Mr. Marmy. I need to call a finance committee meeting and without a pass. And Mr. Rapp. Thank you. I'll call a service committee meeting. And uh, I wanted to address the snow removal as well uh, as I was going to. But um, I, I will say that, that Mr. Rhodes with the service department, um, and as well as, as those in the engineering department and the, in the uh, water department, uh, have done an awesome job of clearing the roads this, this weekend. It's difficult when you have multiple snows over multiple multiple periods of days. Uh, it's just hard to keep up with what we have and the lane miles that we have and the equipment that we have, um, but they've done a phenomenal job. I want to remind everybody that we had a snow emergency. When we have a snow emergency, that allows us to bring people in from the engineer's department, from the, from the uh, water department, and, and from other areas. So we're not just out with our five trucks, we're out with pickup trucks and, and other vehicles as well, uh, plowing. It also sets a distinct pattern of the way that we plow. When we have an emergency, we've dedicated streets as emergency routes. Those are always going to be, as they should be, the first streets to get plowed. They are the ones that are going to serve the largest population of Newark. Then they'll move on to secondary streets, uh, and those are done as they can get to them after the primary roads are done. And there is a tertiary level as well. If you live on a cul-de-sac, I'm sorry. <laughs> but that's a tertiary road. It serves six, eight, ten people. 
or six or eight or ten households. It's not that you're any less than important than anybody else, but it's no different than the AAP coming in during a DRECO. They're going to put up the first lines that they can put up that service the most amount of people. And when they get down to a line that services two or three households, I'm sorry, you're last. That's just the way it is. Um, so when you're looking at roads and you're looking at where you live, try to determine how much volume of traffic goes up and down that road. That should let you know if you're a primary, a secondary, or a tertiary road. Tonight, our guys have been out working 12-hour shifts. <coughs> Tonight is probably going to be a good night for secondary and tertiary roads. So if your roads haven't been plowed yet, uh, tonight would be a good night to uh, maybe expect to see that by morning. Um, but other than that, they've done a phenomenal job, and uh, we appreciate it. With that, I will pass. Thank you, Mr. Rapp. And it's almost March. That's what I keep telling myself. It's it almost is almost March. March, which would be a great time to fulfill a public record request. Just to say. <laughs> well, is there a Our next week happened a week this, or so many years this weekend. Was that the seventh? Seventy-eight. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I'm trying not to think about that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, our next, there's five Mondays this month since this is, uh, this is January, so we will not have a meeting next Monday, the 22nd. We will have a meeting, a uh, committee meeting, the 29th at 5:30 here in this room. Our next full council meeting will be February 5th, also in this room at 7 o'clock. Right. Is there a motion to adjourn? Motion by Mr. Cross, second by Mr. Lobudis. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 A